Well, hello there, everyone. You can show you right here. So you're the J.C. Lee Dugard, like, you know, for Freedom for America. And uh, this uh, activity right here that you know, talks about is like, you know, for, you know, you know, for coming, you know, for, you know, Independence, uh, you know, for Fourth of July holiday. And uh, basically that, uh, you know, like uh, talking about, you know, for like, you know, for the celebrating, you know, for the Freedom say for America, and, you know, for the you know, birth, uh, say, of, uh, of, you know, the America and you know, the, the United States of America. But anyway, uh but you see right here is I want to put together right here is like a you know a painting right here you know for Jason D Garden and right here will be right here are some pictures right here of the moon and uh, I'm like anybody that may warrant to wear that uh, yeah you know back in 1776 if we would actually look back at the American history knowing about that uh, that you know, the type of a uh, uh, your know, photographs uh, if anything that the uh, artists back then that uh, may have a uh, you know, like a you know, picture that's like you know, had like a certain you know type of art materials to where they would actually work with like oils and paints and stuff like that. You know, just to be able to uh, you know, and then, you know, mosaics and you know, other stuff. You know, just to be able to form uh, what you call that that type of uh, gratitude you know, for the art. You know, for knowing about the, you know, for you know how to draw you know, picture a moon or any type of scenery like that. But uh, you have right here is like a background here of the American flag, and then right here are some of these stars right here. And uh, while I was painting this, I was also thinking about I'm like, yeah, for like J. C. Dugart, you know, in the fall picture. But then uh, on your hand too, I was also thinking about I might go ahead and include uh, you know, the American flag right here. So anybody that may want to or you know, Freedom for America, and and I know I was also thinking about you know doing one for like um you know mothers uh you know, best, you know, for America or something like that, but, uh, on your hand too to represent you know, for the United States of America and knowing about that, yeah, that talk about you know, for history, based on, like, your know, history of the United States, and, uh, I come remember that, that line, you know, the history class is knowing about, you know, for the slaves, though, it's like, a uh, read through parts of the story is that, that, you know, portions of the story knowing about, you know, for, you know, being slaved, it's like, uh, being used for any type of you know, you know, sexual abuse or anything like that, but uh, on your hand that uh, we weren't were that uh, that yeah that that you know nowadays you know, in America that that thinking about necessarily to where that that yeah you know, there's any situation that goes by to where that we may think the people or what you call that uh, you know they you know they want something uh, you know out of somebody or you know for that you know, particular reason or some sort, but uh, on your hand I have a. Uh, we written right here is like for J.C. Dugar on the American flag right here. Like have right here is like if it at the the writing will be like and going in like a wave part, but uh, on, on you know the the way your know, type look right here. But um, you have right here these stars right here as well as you know, for J.C. Dugar. And uh, you know, while I was painting this, I was also thinking about you know if I want to go ahead and use it, some of the previous paintings of like. Uh, you say the you know the college student photo or something, but uh, on your hand, and I was also thinking about I'm like yeah that uh, you know just to kind of you know you know, try out uh, other other type of portrait paintings that uh, like you know came to my own. I was able to work out, but uh, but you have right there is like you have right there is the painting right there, and then page two right here will be right here is like a, you know the American Eagle. So you know if anybody were as like say, but did they tell you that? write a page or two about what we think that this, uh, you know, picture right here, this painting more likely represents, and like, you're like, warrant to where that, you know, the eagle that would uh, be flying, you know, in the sky, you know, going from, from east to west, uh, east to west or north to south, and, uh, knowing if we were to be actually doing our research, our history, and uh, thinking about necessarily to where that with, uh, you know, the history, though, that uh, a lot of of the history that basically knows about you from back in 1976 that uh, it's like knowing about you from how America was found and then knowing that the American Eagle and yeah and then uh, one up uh, well, I think on on the, the right foot that they would uh, represent you know, the arrows that would represent you know, for freedom and then on the left foot they would hold like a scroll so yeah knowing about that that slavery from back in the, the early 1800s, which I know that uh, that, that kind of goes back to like the American history, but uh, I don't think the video is anything about related to like sex slaves or anything like that. But a lot of it is like any other type of slave to where that, uh, that yeah, until uh, 
you know, you know, I think ever since the Civil War or something like that. But uh, I know that uh, you know, for like, uh, you know, for you know, the education for J.C. Garden as well as uh, with anybody else's education, knowing about you know, for how how much that they can remember about you know, the history about that you know, from you know, 1776 to maybe to, you know, to 1789 or something like that. When uh, Christopher Columbus first discovered America, and as well as uh, you know, for the presidents, you know, from from George Washington as well as um, Benjamin Franklin and all of those, all those other, you know, it's like writers and as well as uh, you know, politicians and the uh, other people. But uh, on your hand, that uh, I know that uh, uh, quite a bit of my American history kind of goes back so far, also, but. Uh, but I'll probably say that, that you know, yeah, that uh, anything that more likely is to where that, you know, like, uh, is to where that uh, I would actually paint a picture right here. And while I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, that uh, you have right here is like the American Eagle right here, like on the American flag. And then uh, you're like, weren't to where that uh, possibly that um, ever since before my time and maybe a few other, other be anybody else's time that, uh, that like, see you from back in the, Early you know, 1800s that, that they may have had to where that, that that you know the Declaration of Independence or some law that that, that passed the rule to where you know that, that, that you know, no slaves or you know, anything you know Bill of Rights or anything like that. But anyway, uh, but knowing about that, that if we actually write about one or two paragraphs about think about we what we think that this you know artwork like this may more likely represents, and um, and like anybody say before that. Airplanes and aircrafts were even, a, were, were even what you call that, uh, yeah, that uh, before that they even built those those big jet airliners that carried the passengers in it. But uh, on your hand too, for how people sailed, you know, across the Pacific and then around you know, the Atlantic Ocean and stuff like that. But anyway, um, but you have right here is an American example right here, American Eagle, and then you have right here is an example right here, a painting you know, for Jason Eagle and I. You know, like anybody that may want to wear that, yeah, that, that, you know, like, uh, include, like, you know, the American flag right here, which I know that uh, a lot of the other paintings and the work that, that was my pictures that I'm including the American flag, one of those is because it's like my birthday's right around July, so I, I'm like, um, you know, that'll be around the 4th of July, and so that's why that uh, a lot of my colors, which I know blue and then uh, red and then and white and you're like Warren to where the hey, I'm like, how come maybe yellow? Yellow and green are not really a part of the American flag, you know, style, but still that uh, you're like Warren to where the yeah, maybe it could be, huh? But on your hand that uh, you know, if anybody were Warner to where I'm like, yeah, are you gonna maybe um you know, add some uh, some paint to, you know, illustration, but uh, I'm like, well, I don't know, I'm like I don't you know try and you know limit the time here, but uh, you have right here these stars right here, but uh, from the the pictures right here of the moon right here is it uh, knowing about that that yeah I think one will be like say the full and one will be the crescent moon, but uh, anybody like say if you're gonna be living on like say the far east coast to say of the country, and the continent, or if it's gonna be you know far the far north or far south part or far west uh, far far south. Uh, Far east or so part of the country that um, you're like warned to where that yeah I have seen a blue moon and I've seen like what's called crystal as like gold and then as well as like maybe with the, the you know chemo cream or you know anything anything like that that more like I may have seen but uh, I may have seen a little bit of a pink moon and I may have seen a little bit of the red moon so anybody that may warrant to where that uh, you know usually that uh, like the solar eclipse, and, you know, like you're about to say that, yeah, if the moon tends to disappear, you know, some part of the night, you're like warm to where, where the moon go, you know, the moon, the moon usually will be uh, facing about, say, the northeast or so, uh, they say at the Pacific or something like that, but anyway, um, but as you have it right here, it's like you talk about for J.C. Dugard, like for Freedom for America, and, uh, Include right here is the American flag, but if we were to actually look up, it's like the you know, history about of our freedom, though. That um, a part about about the book, though, that I know that uh, that she you know talks about is like you know since you know she was freed, you know from captivity, 
that it was like, you know, thinking about is to where that a lot of things that the, you know, had her you know, recover and as well as you know, the things that she had to learn as well and then knowing about the you know, other things that you mentioned about in the book. But um, on the other hand, it, uh, whenever I do read through parts of it, I was like also thinking about it as to where anybody that may ask me, I'm like, yo, share your ideas about what you think about the story and uh, really do one of those, you know, any, you know, any parts of the story that more likely that would uh, represent the American flag. So whenever I think about the you know, 4th of July, I'm also thinking about my birthday too. But then whenever I read through parts of the book, which I know, I guess, you know, which I'm like, if I can remember, right, yeah, you know, her book, you know, J.C. Dugard's book, you know, the memoir was, you know, it came out, it was first released, I think it was right around the week of my birthday, if I can remember, right, July, uh, July the 14th, I think it was maybe the 15th or so of 2011, and I guess that she's going to have a, another one, you know, coming out, you know, for freedom, it's like, uh, you know, freedom rights or something like that, you know, like, so I guess if that's going to be due for release, you know, for 2016, but uh, I'm like also warned to where that, that, you know, she can maybe do another one about maybe college, uh, you know, college writings or something like that. You know, maybe by keep that on schedule in mind as to where by, by July 2020 or so that uh, she may decide, you know, to write another one about maybe uh, journalism or if it's about, uh, like, uh, if it's about uh, anything such as maybe for college years, I'm like, you know, whenever she does, you know, uh, you know earn her, her college degree maybe in teaching or some sort, or maybe photography or anything like that. But um, anyway, uh, but uh, they have it right there. It's like talk about you know, for freedom for America, you know, for J.C. Lee Dugard, and and I know that anybody that may want or that you know, like use a little bit of the paint tool also. But I'm like, well, yeah, you, know, you know, I was also thinking about that, you know whatever details I added right here, which knowing about how much room I had to work with, but. On the other hand, I'm also thinking about as to where that uh, before I take a few steps forward further, that uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, anybody that uh, asks me, I'm like, really, that, uh, you know, are you about out of, uh, you know, ideas? But I'm like, well, there was about three other ones that I was also thinking about using also, but then on your hand, and I know that, you know, other updates, of course, uh, you know, my portfolios and I would, you know, I'm going to need to work on, so... This right here will be like uh, what you call like anybody that may want to where that, that you know yeah whenever you read through parts of the book and you know, it's it's a real amazing story though it's a it's an amazing story and then on your hand it's like thinking about as to where that you know yeah anything that J C Dugard wanted to talk about wanted to share and as well as uh, anything about you know the traumatic ordeals that she went through during her life you know in, act in captivity and. Um, for like any type of uh, sexual abuse or slavery, you know, it is that uh, we warrant to her that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, the American ego, which uh, I know that, uh, you know, J.C. Dugard is that I don't, you know, I don't remember anything in the book that mentions about, you know, being able to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, allow, you know, to grow wings to be able to fly, you know, maybe fly to different, to, you know, explore, which I know riding a hot air balloon, but then, on your hand, it, uh, I'm like, I can remember that. You know, whenever the first book was released, it was released right around my birthday. So, thinking about as to where, if I can remember, right, that I read about as to where that, the, you know, her next book will be going to be released in July 2016. And uh, let's just say that, you know, if her next book may be released, you know, maybe by, uh, you know, uh, July uh, you know, two, of 2021. So, she may decide that you know, write about to maybe particular, you know, artist and and in that you know book of book writings and authors and as well as you know for her experience you know for that you know she gets her college education maybe in teaching and maybe helping people with the with traumatic ordeals you know for Jay's foundation but have right here's example right here for scroll but anyway um but they have it right there it's taught by say for for freedom for America you know for J C D Gard. Well, you made May 25, and thanks for watching. Have a great day and on it. And also, is like a tune to celebrate. It's like for J.C. Dugard, you know, for June the 10th, you know, since June the 10th, 1991. So it would be about, you know, a little after 4.30 a.m. my time. So it's like warrant to where anybody that may warrant to where, if I can remember right back in 1991, that would have been a Monday morning. 
but then uh, it was like you know yeah that you know since it's a Friday you know for 2016 you'll be a Friday so they're like weren't to where that uh, you know keeping track of the other days but still that uh, from the time uh, anybody probably say that you know by the time I graduate and just thinking about to where that that you know for any of my you know illustration designing work and Knowing about you know if I'm gonna be maybe be doing maybe some work for maybe for the president in the near future. So anybody that may want to where that you know yeah are you gonna be continuing to to uh, do, do show your work and then I'm like well it's uh, I guess you know, like I said before is to where that uh, you know I have not used that uh, you know every uh, you know every idea that I I thought of but then on your hand too that I keep thinking about. That whenever I work an idea that you when I think that looks great, then more likely you'll know, update that on on the YouTube page as well. But uh, for any other book readers like me, is that uh, you know I you know get ideas whenever I do research online as well as you know, read through parts of the book and and uh, I don't know I keep thinking though that um, yep you know book readers like me that may not count to where that uh, anything you know, so far as you know, for what we what I. Well, you know, anything that's that's changed, you know, for improvements. But on your hand too is like for what you know the artwork presents. You know, for whenever I do graduate, and more likely anybody that more likely wants to work than anything you know about understanding about for what I do as well as for other you know family and friends is knowing about you know for you know for the Duda, you know the Dugar family is thinking about you know for your privacy also. But um, that it's like I respect that. But um, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. You made me 25 and have a great day.